Hey there, fellas. Check out what I got here. I have got me a bunch of lovely... tennis balls. And I've seen photos where people were using them as sort of dampers that they'd insert into springs. As for us, we'd like to try something slightly different. You'll see that right here we have a wheel, and we've made a number of attempts to make a puncture-proof tire, or one that's semi-puncture-proof. And since we do have this wheel, obviously the idea would be to fill it with something. And so let's use these balls as tire filler. I have no idea how many we'll be able to fit in there, I mean... You can squeeze them with just your hand, though it does require quite a bit of force to do so. And with a lot of them in there, they should hold the weight of a car. Anyway, we have the wheel, we have a bunch of these balls, we know what needs to be done. So let's, uh, this isn't necessarily using balls to inflate a tire, but let's fill the inside of the tire with these balls and see how well the whole thing works. We have the balls, we have the wheels, let's do this. Check this out, guys. Here's where we're at with this. We've got our assembled wheel right here, that's all good. And we've used a crown bit to make a bunch of holes in the sidewall. That's to give us at least some sort of view. The holes are going to allow us to see inside. They're not all that big, as you can see. And now the idea is to unseat one side. Fill as much of the tire as we can with these balls. And then we're going to have to find a way to fit the tire back on. But we need to stuff as many of these in there as we can. Pack them in there for a denser wheel, so to speak. To the experts out there, how many do you think we'll be able to fit? We're placing bets over here, what do you think? 30. Artyom, the camera guy. 30. How many? Oh, you didn't place any bets? 100? 100. 80 to 100. Slava the camera guy. That's quite a wide range. I think, uh, well, my ballpark is even less specific. I'm thinking around 40 to 50 to 60. <laughs> Call it 50. Sergey, how many do you think we can fit? 30 to 50? 30, so about the same, yeah. Let us know how many you think will fit. Okay, let's go and seat this tire, take this box with us. Start stuffing them in and count them as we go. Let's do this. There you go. That's 50 already. We're already at 50, and we're not even done yet. Eighty balls inside this tire, and it's still not enough. So everybody who said 80 to 100 appears to be correct. Slava made a pretty good guess. That's a hundred balls. Let's try seating this tire. See what happens. Let's try this out. Wait a second. How do we spread it out, though? Well, 
So look here, we got a couple of lovely wheels here. And this looks... Uh, they're actually pretty heavy, but they look pretty good. A single ball is very light. But when you got a hundred in there, the weight adds up. But now let's install them and see if they're able to hold the weight of the car. Because honestly, when you lift the wheel and then you push down with all of your weight, it does give in slightly. But we just can't get any more balls in there, I mean... When we were seating the tire, it was pretty much all hands on deck to push down on the sidewall to get the tire seated. But we were able to do it. Stuffing in any more, well... Let's try these out first and then decide what to do next. Let's go! Okay, so the wheels are on there. Now let's bring the car down and see what happens. What has come out of this? Not so fast. Now all the way. There we go. What can I tell you? It resembles a wheel that doesn't have a lot of air in it. You'll see that the sidewall is a bit caved in, but over here it has loosened up. Hey, at least it isn't sitting on the rim. And it doesn't even feel as if they're under that much load. I'm easily able to push them in. Let's check on the other side. About the same picture. I can easily push them in, which means that the load... Wait, this one is stiffer. The load is well distributed. That's good. So these are holding up, which is nice. But until we get outside, we won't know for sure. Let's go. Okay, I am seated inside. Terrific. Engine started right away. Let's try these out so that I can keep an eye on the wheels. Still can't see them, uh, whatever, let's just go. We'd better look out to see whether they're going to be popping out, though. Seem to be doing fine. We are moving. But immediately I seem to feel uh, this interesting effect. You know like when you're driving on deflated tires and you especially feel it in the back when your tires have lost air? When the car starts to float from side to side? And overall it's unstable. Yeah, you feel the same thing here as well, like right away. Even at a lower speed, one of the balls has evacuated. One just popped out of the tire, yeah? Found its way through one of the holes? I didn't notice, I just saw it rolling. Right, I guess one of the balls didn't fit in. But okay. Oh, wow, holy cow! The car is so floaty! The rear axle just really loves to move around. What do you know? Still pretty cool, though. And the way it reacts to steering input, you turn, it leans over, and only then does it start to turn. It is like driving with low tire pressure. But then why would there be any pressure in there? The tires have not been inflated. They have been filled with a bunch of tennis balls. Well, it is what it is, but no big deal. The important thing is that they allow the car to move. And pretty well. No more balls popping out. But one of them did get away. Through one of the orifices. 
but the rest seem to be in place. That right there was a proper burnout. Are they still in place, though? None flying out? None? Holy cow, why aren't they? They definitely should be. All of the balls are in place, isn't that amazing? How, though? Ah, pop out of gear. Some proper testing. They seem to have held up, endured everything. Withstood the burnout, the driving portion. They have been slightly beat up, though, as you can plainly see. The material they're covered in that allows them to cling to the racket, I don't know, or the court. But overall, they are doing a decent job of holding the tire together and holding the weight of the car. Even though it is the rear axle where you don't have an engine that's creating additional load, we would have had to stuff more of these in. But the most we were able to insert was a hundred of these. And no more. This guy in the cap won that bet. It'll be anywhere from 80 to 100. He said it'll be 80 to 100. And a hundred of them fitted. <laughs> well, I'd say the tennis balls have done pretty well. Some of them have been popping out because we made holes to be able to see how we're filling the tire. But if these holes wouldn't have been there, they wouldn't have been finding their way out from inside the tires. On this side, it's about the same thing. The tire was on the verge of getting deformed, though it actually has been slightly. I can even see a tear developing. But no big deal. Crucially, these are holding up, and that is nice. Now, with these wheels being of the type that are hard to puncture, let's simulate a puncture. So look here, I've got this piece of wood with some screws poking out, that's all good. Let's try shifting its position slightly. Any air escaping? None. Okay, let's keep going. So check this out. Even after going over that plank with the screws, uh, yeah, they seem to be puncturing them. Some of the tennis balls have been penetrated. Yeah, that would seem to be the case. But here's the deal. When you puncture a tire, all of the air is going to escape through the hole. But in this case, if you puncture the individual tennis balls, be it one of them, two or even three, four, it's not really an issue. It's just a tennis ball that's going to lose internal pressure. It's localized as opposed to the whole tire going flat. In the case of a conventional wheel, the rest of the tennis balls keep it together and nothing really even happens. You can't even tell by looking where the punctured tennis balls are located, honestly. 
But yeah, guys, this system works. And quite well, I might add. This sort of tire would allow you to drive many a kilometer or maybe even dozens of kilometers. Because if you don't cut all of those control orifices into it, if you don't mutilate the sidewall, then inside of a whole tire the tennis balls are going to be just fine. Okay guys, you saw it all for yourselves, this system works. And that's all I got for you, watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up, 